bueno, el día de hoy vengo vestido para la ocasión porque voy a entrevistar a la gente de Interpol. Así que, güey, ¿qué haces? Carnal, no me hagas esto, güey. No a tener que hacer esto yo. ¿Qué? ¿Esta cosa pesa? Pobre camarógrafo, güey. Nadie le explicó que veníamos con la banda y no con la Organización Internacional de Policía Criminal, pero bueno. Así vamos llegando a la entrevista, porque ahí están los chicos de Interpol muy trajeados, igual que yo. Hey guys, how's it going? How are you? Diego, hi guys. Uh, again, here in Mexico. What's the thing that you love the most about this city? This rooftop right here. I did especially for you guys. Such a nice guy. Yeah, yeah, of course. And I dressed like kind of in the same style as you guys. Ooh. Too early oh, for a tie. Any ties? I can take it out. <laughs> this fourth album, named Interpol. Why naming Interpol to your fourth album? <laughs> I don't know, it just seemed it seemed fitting to have it seemed kind of a monumental title, basically. That was it's kind of letting the, the songs speak for themselves this time around and just having it be sort of simple and minimal like that. So it wasn't because you guys run out of names? Uh, you found us out, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. This rumor on the internet, I read it, that the name of the of the band was because of you, Paul, because here in Mexico you were named, I don't know, like, Paul Paul, Interpol, something like that. Is that true? Um, no. I mean, we're called Interpol because of the agency, Interpol. Yeah. The story about the name is was in Spain, actually. There was a, a friend of mine who had seen a, a Woody Allen film translated into Spanish, and at some point in the movie, there someone's on a radio calling out for Interpol, and they keep saying, Paul Paul, Interpol. And so this girl just used to call me that. So I mean, that's that's a true story, but that's you couldn't really say that's why we're called Interpol. We're called Interpol because of the agency. <laughs> Guys, I got it. <laughs> and it. Yeah, he probably proposed Paul Paul Interpol. Guys, what are you expecting about this concert? Last time you shared like stage, well, the same concert with the Pixies, and I heard you pull like Hillary. Ya van a los Pixies, right? So what are you expecting about this this concert? I, you know, I think it's great when we get to come back. It's our first time that we've been able to come back to Mexico twice on the same record, so I think right there that's like really amazing. And it was it was obviously wonderful to be here for the Corona Festival, but it'll be even more tremendous, I think, to play our own shows, you know, and, and to return to the Sports Palace tonight. You know, Mexican audiences are probably one of our best audiences in the world, so I think it'll be crazy and it's gonna be really exciting. Well, guys, I asked you at the beginning what do you love the most about Mexico, and it's a pretty common question. So now I'm going to change the question. I'm going to ask, what's the thing you hate the most from Mexico? No way, dude. No way. Hey, no, no, no. Come on. Now. I don't know. Maybe the traffic. <laughs> maybe something simple that I hate too. Traffic sucks everywhere. Every city has bad traffic. I kind of like the traffic. No, there's no way. Come on. We didn't get to answer our favorite part of Mexico question, I don't think. Tell me about it. I like the culture, I like the people, I like the architecture. Right now, on my mind, is tacos and salsa. <laughs> Mexico is well perfected to feminine form. You really like the girls? <laughs> That's the same. I love them so much. Look, I put a ring on for one. Oh, oh my god. Oh, okay, okay. That explains a lot of things. I'm sorry, guys, I have to leave you right now so you can go and eat some, some damn tacos.